Hello there, we're back in the Otter Pen, as you might have guessed, and we've got some fantastic news. Just before Christmas, we got some video footage of some otters out on the reserve. Now, it's a romp of otters, that's a group of otters, and it was a mother and two cubs. Now, they're our Eurasian river otters, and they're our native species. If you've been before, you might know these two girls, Ha Ha and Flo, are actually North American river otters. And these have an extra thing that our British otters don't. These have delayed implantation. What they can do is put the cubs on hold till it's springtime and have the children in the nice weather. Our native otters are non-seasonal and can technically have their cubs at any time of the year, but it's really nice to see them at the end of the year over the Christmas period. Try and see the girls out on the uh, reserve, but our native otter are fairly elusive, fairly nervous creatures. As you might have noticed, the North American otters are a bit more showbiz, so why not come and see their talks at 11.30 and 3 o'clock every day throughout the season. I'm down at Back From The Brink today and I'm going to tell you how well our white clawed crayfish are doing. Bristol Zoo gave us some crayfish a few years ago now and we were lucky enough to receive some more last autumn and they came with buried eggs, so they came with eggs and we were fortunate enough to manage to get those eggs to hatch in captivity here at Slimbridge. We managed to get eight babies to hatch and they hatched around about a centimetre long. Now they've grown and they're pushing three centimetres. We're going to put some on show down at Back From The Brink so you can see these guys for yourselves. White clawed crayfish are our only true native species, but sadly we've had some invasive species being introduced illegally. And those invasive species carry plagues or pathogens that affect our white clawed crayfish. Since the 1970s, our white clawed crayfish have taken a massive decline. And that's not only down to the plagues that have been introduced by these invasive invaders, but also because of the habitat destruction and pollution. Bristol Zoo are part of the Southwest Crayfish Group and they're one of the leading partners and they're breeding crayfish in captivity to put back into the wild in some ARC populations, populations and sites that are protected from these invasive crayfish. Flamingos are experts in romance, so this Valentine's Day come down and see what they're up to here at WWT Slimbridge. They're much brighter pink than they would have been before Christmas and you'll get a lovely insight into their courtship displays and their dance moves. And this is a brilliant way to see how nature gets in the mood for love. At this time of the year, the flamingos will have shunted more pigments into their growing feathers so they look brighter. And this is a way that male and female flamingos work out which ones they want to pair up with. Some of you might already be familiar with the flamingos dance moves. And the flamingo's dancing is actually really, really complicated. Birds can display up to 136 different types of routine in their course of choosing a partner. So the display that you see might look very, very bizarre, but actually is the best way that the birds can work out who is the best quality individual for breeding with. For all six flamingo species, there are around about nine different types of display. Some species do some types of display more commonly than others. For example, these lesser flamingos and our Andean flamingos are really good at marching. All their legs move together like they're on a conveyor belt. Our Caribbean flamingos and our greater flamingos really like to head flag, move their heads from side to side, or do a wing salute and spread out their black primary feathers. If you want to have a go at spotting these displays, our Flamingo Lagoon exhibit shows you a picture of each one of these dance moves. So come down and have a go at seeing the romance in our flamingo flocks at Valentine's Day.